every single solder connection was inspected. Hi, welcome back to the beautiful electronics block. It's another cold day in my shop. It has like, yeah, zero degrees Celsius here. Today we will have a look at an old uh, Rode und Schwarz device. Even though it is like 50 years old, it is looking like new. This will be exciting. And here it is. <sighs> It's a tunable indicating amplifier. I will power it up, uh, but before I will power it up, we will have a look inside. Uh, this unit is now posted on eBay and I have uh, several people asking for it. So today is the day when it will be sold. Look at the beautiful details. The knobs are shiny. Everything is shiny and looking like new. Wonderful. Yeah, in Germany we say it's the UBM. Abstimmbare Anzeigeverstärker bei Rode und Schwarz. Look at that. Isn't it amazing and beautiful? It is looking like new. There's no rust, no dust. There's nothing. This is a rather unusual power transformer design for a Rodon Schwarz unit. Usually they have M core uh, transformers, but this is something else. And, this, and it is partially shielded. Wonderful. These are most likely uh, loading and smoothing caps for the anode voltage. And here's a little DC coil which is uh, wired in between two capacitors. Beautiful instrument. Here's the dial drum. Hmm, seems like I've missed an eBay auction. Here's a tunable variable capacitor. There are several tubes inside of this unit. This is the EF80 and we have four of these and a voltage stabilizer tube. It is called Stabi Volt in German language. Behind are three electrolytic capacitors. I haven't noticed them before. I guess they are for the power supply. Other than that, we see Bosch MP type capacitors, metallized paper. They are just excellent. This is a selenium type uh, rectifier, beautiful, made by AEG Telefunken. Another beautiful detail here.
and a beautiful writing on the drum. On the side we see a little circuit for the indicator and the diodes for the DC coil of the indicator. Here is a voltage selector for all kind of different uh, input voltages. And now the most exciting part at the end. This is the lower portion of this unit. We see two uh, DC coils for the anode voltage. We see another rectifier. And these wonderful Bosch MP capacitors with a very special mounting design. This is wonderful. More of these. Nice. Here is the wiring of the selenium rectifier. Now have a look at that. Every single solder connection was inspected. Beautiful. Wow. Some more parts. The blue resistors are made by Rosenthal. And we have this mysterious large aluminium tube, which probably contains, hmm, I don't know. We will have a look at the schematic. I can't open this one up here without destroying the alignment and everything. At least it is beautifully made. Yeah. This was a look inside of the Rode und Schwarz UBM. And now let's power it up. I'll give the capacitors some time to reformate as they were not powered on in like 10 or 20 years or even longer. It helps to power on the unit. I will slowly raise the voltage. Yeah, there is no smoke at least. Woohoo! I will now connect it to my hi-fi system. It is now set to the amplifier position. Not sure if you can still hear this. We have now 14 kilohertz.
Beautiful. It also has a non-resonant operating mode and then it is uh, and then it has a linear amplification. Oh. I hope this was interesting for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Uh, thank you all for supporting on Patreon or if you support me with thumbs up. This helps a lot. So see you again soon. Bye.